Hello, YouTube and NewsCenterMaine.com. I'm News Center Maine meteorologist Jason Nappy here at the Solstice. So if you want to follow along, let's get into the next storm that's coming our way. This one is a big one, okay? It's going to be taking a lot of energy from the Great Lakes and also developing low off the coast. All going to consolidate and combine as we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of the upcoming weekend here. A lot of rain being picked up on the back side of this storm. Plenty of moisture transport. And I mentioned that because right now we're in current foliage report, peak, moderate to high. This is all going to go to high very quickly in the next few days. Next report comes out very soon. I expect everyone to be high or past peak. And I bring all this up because only the coast is the last spot here to be the average peak foliage for the year, mid to late October, which is where we are. And the rain's going to come, the wind's going to come from this storm, so the leaves are going to come down. And I say now get out and kind of get those leaves away from the drains if you can and keep up with it this week. Also, if you can, because once this storm gets going Saturday into Sunday, this is the wind mind you with the storm. We're going to have gusts 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. That's going to bring down branches, trees. Um, yes, they're going to talk about the leaves too. So here's what you need to know for the storm. Obviously, I'm recording this Sunday night, but it's still valid for several days here. But the first look at the storm Friday to Sunday showers to heavier rain. No, this is not going to go down any record books in Maine, but it is going to be a soaker and it's on the weekend, so we'll be disruptive for your plants. Rainfall one to three inches. That's a pretty safe estimate right now. Wind gusts up to 50 miles an hour or more. Remember, not long ago, we had a tropical system that went to remnants that would produce wind gusts up in the 60s. So not quite that high. Flash flooding and some outages. Flash flooding because we've got a saturated ground in the last several weeks of these storms. And also we've got leaves on trees and the wind and the rain. So watch out outages. Now this is an early look at what the radar would look like Saturday morning. If you're waking up thinking about going to the lake, thinking about going kayaking. I mean, it's leaf peeping, all that stuff. Well, how about the hayride? Uh, not so great. Onshore flow, the storm takes an inland track runner type of a form, which means the whole state Saturday night while well, I'm standing here at 11 o'clock for you, and it will be pouring rain for nearly the entire state as waves and waves of moisture come our way. Plus, you got to add the wind into it Saturday afternoon, 22, 22 miles an hour, early look at the wind gusts. And then into Sunday afternoon, look at the wind gusts in Bar Harbor, 47. Cowes 31, Lewiston 16. So it depends where you are. Rockland 34, as we're going to have the storm. Most likely it's called a low level jet. It's going to kind of scream through here, mid coast or down east. Still too soon to point out where that's going to be, but yes. And then as the storm pulls away on the backside, that wind here uh, in the summits, uh, which have, by the way, are just covered with ice right now, okay, because of all of that fog and the freezing temperatures. Okay, that rime ice up on the summits here, the Western Mountains. So it's not going to help that. Okay, you got that. You got the wind picking up. So more leaves are going to come down on Sunday too. Here's a quick look at the storm. There's more here on the blog, more on my social media, and obviously also you know me. I'm talking about pizza there too, and all things ice cream. Even though it's kind of past ice cream season in Maine, but for me it's never really over. Have a great night, a great day whenever you're watching this. Thanks for following. Thanks for tagging along and join the conversation. If you like, talk to you next time.